Fancy friends. So this is you can see as you may have guessed by now, and this is Joe, which maybe you haven't guessed because this is my first video, and I'm pleased to be here talking to you. So uh, I hope you like this first reaction to Eurovision songs. Ash and I decided to check the Google Blocks uh, countries list and um, make a review of each country. One of us, each country. So I do every other country. I start with Albania. And I will be doing some reviews for you. So, as I say, Albania is the first country. Let's get to it. I think Albania is a country which is a little bit lost, maybe in Eurovision, because mm, European European countries mm, kind of take into account the music trends for the Eurovision, and they send like kind kind of actual songs and modern songs. But Albania is a bit of it's on its own. He, it keeps sending songs, quite old, stylish sometimes, and this may be a little bit mm, not popular. So yeah. However, I have to say that I quite like some of the songs that Alvin has sent, because, for example, the first song they they started with, uh, the image of you. It was really nice. I really liked it. And there was a song, uh, Sur, I think. The one that the, the the girl that sang this song it was really great that song I loved it I think it's one of the best Eurovision songs ever so great however in general as I said due to the fact that they use uh, festival ikens as their selection process the result is a little bit mm, not satisfactory very a lot of times um, what can I say about the this year's song. I watched Festival Kingas this time also, and I kind of liked um, quite few songs, if I'm honest with you. I thought the level in general was quite low, and I didn't like it. However, um, Eugen Bushpepa with its song, with his song uh, Mal, was one of the of the ones that kind of caught my attention. I don't think it's a great song, but I think it was one of the best songs in the selection. So I'm kind, I'm quite glad that it won. Uh, I think he has a great voice. I think it's undeniable he has a great voice. He really does sing good live. In fact, I have seen a video of him singing um, uh, Sus, and it's really good. So. I think he has a good voice, but that's it. I don't think he has a great song. Um, it's a little bit repet repetitive, and it kind of gets really... It gets difficult for me to get to the end of the song, because I'm listening to it and I'm like, okay, next one, please. I don't want to me listen to this. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I I don't think it's a great song. I think it's weird the fact that they're keeping it in Albanian. This is really good. I'm always a defender of countries that send songs in their own languages because I think Eurovision is about showing, showcasing the culture, the language, and the traditions of the of each country. And I think this is a very good thing. But that's that's the whole of it. <coughs> I think in Eurovision you have to strike, you have to catch the attention of the public in the few minutes minutes you have, and this song it's not maybe the best thing of doing it so um, my i think they're not going to pass to the um, to the final however i wish them good luck and i wish them to keep working and showing the culture in a good way and keeping the songs in albanian so that's that's it that's that's my reaction to albania um Hope you liked it and see you in Australia. Bye.